zero versus quickbooks decisions 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 brought to you by Google's bookkeepers if you like the channel please do subscribe like and share so always ask this question oh which software should I go for and oftentimes people whittle it down to two being quickbooks or zero so that's what we're going to look at in this video but i just want to point out that there is various accounting software out there there's free agent wave cash flow pandle to name a few watch my other video about account software that's out there but here's the things that you need to consider you need to think about the price who can use it your bookkeeper or your accountant if you've got one who who can use it like who can use it already do you like it do they like it what's the help like what's the support like if you're stuck and not just from the company itself but just generally just you know is there a lot of information out there if you if you get stuck and it's a these are very important things to consider because it is a substantial commitment to set yourself up on a system because it can be difficult to change once it's set up and you know if you've put your information in there and you've designed your invoices and you've got it all connected up as you like if you then go and change it you know it's it's a bit of a pain so you want to make the right decision you want to make the right choice because once you've decided you're, you're kind of committed you might want to consider as well where is the software from is it from the uk canada usa australia where is it from and what is the sort of funding how well supported is this software because there's a lot of software out there and they're not all going to make the distance so some of them will drop off and if that happens then again you're kind of stuck in a bit of a situation whereby you may still be able to continue to use it but then you're not going to get any updates and eventually you, you will have to change so you know you want something that's going to be here for the long term so that they will be bringing out new features and your experience your user experience of the software will continue to be pleasant and you've got to think about what you need it to do so understand what you need the software to do and make sure it can do it at this point just want to make a quick disclaimer we are gold pro advisors for quickbooks we're silver champions of zero we're partners with free agent i am a fan of pandal i like wave and i've got clients on all systems we have bookkeepers who use all systems some prefer um one system more than another i personally have used them all <laughs> i like them all we resell quickbooks and zero now what i just want to do at this point is i just want to go through and show you some screenshots of what zero looks like also what quickbooks looks like because at the end of the day way we do it it's whatever you like you know we can use anything so just whatever you like so let me just show you what it's like and then you're you might be drawn to one over another so uh zero let's just take a look at that so features automatic bank feeds so you connect it to your bank pulls it through you can access it from anywhere anytime it gives you real-time information there's an online invoicing function and it's very clear visibility very clean um design clean layout and so whether you're looking at it on the desktop this is like an example of what it would look like or whether you're looking at it on your phone it is very clear it's very very clean and i would suggest that when making a decision you do download the app you go for the trial version of whatever the software is and just get a feel for it and just decide whether you like it because you will be using it so you want something that you like now looking at the mobile um you can see that at a glance you can see the balance of your bank accounts your bank account your savings account you can see in terms of sales and purchases that you've got so much in overdue invoices so much in unpaid invoices and so much in unpaid bills so that's who you owe money to so just like you get a, a snapshot a glance you can see that now if you download the app on zero you can access it as long as you've got internet access 
you can do your bank reconciliation from your phone you can send out sales invoices from your phone and you can add contacts from your phone and that's just by clicking this plus button here sales invoices being able to invoice on the go can be very handy for a lot of contractors you've just finished a job and you don't have to oh let me get back to the office or let me just send someone in the office or, or whatever you know invoice these people or whatever you can just do it there and then on the spot it's very handy now in terms of your your dashboard here um, if you're looking at it on a laptop on a computer you get real-time insights it's very customizable what you can see data is very clear and it is jargon free to me zero is i compare it to apple just a clean design a clean layout very simplistic very easy when it comes to the bank reconciliation there'll be two figures one that says the statement balance which is what the bank is saying and then one which says balancing zero so that's what zero is saying you know that your books are right when this figure matches so bank statement data comes in and it's your job to click uh, um, either OK or apply it to whatever that payment or expense has gone to. So you see it says spent, so that's all the money that's gone out and received, all the money that's gone in. It does try and guess transactions for you. And just from this, you'll see reconcile 28. So that means there's 28 transactions that are outstanding. And it's just asking you to review each statement line. You can automate it by programming it to recognize, for example, Truxton property management spent. If Truxton is the builders, you might have a code called builders. You can set in uh, a rule that the software will know anytime it's Truxton property management, we um, allocate it to builders. And then all you need to do is click OK. OK, 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 OK. You just accept all those transactions. It makes doing your bookkeeping very quick. And it's in real time data. So as it's appearing on the bank, it's coming through with your sales. And this is what it looks like on your phone versus what it looks like on the on the desktop lovely design i must say i do like their sales invoices i must say minimal data entry you don't have to put too much in there you can just send a statement at any point sales new create new invoice you can create a repeating invoice if you've got a client that it's the same amount all the time you can put that in do it online and there's payment services as in you can connect it to um things like um stripe or paypal or whatever so that when the invoice comes through the client can click on it and it gives them the option do you want to pay now and they can pay by their card by using paypal you don't need or whichever payment processor you want so you can add your payment service to the invoice you don't have to have a paypal account in order to pay by paypal they can pay by card in terms of reports lots of reports a wide range of reports financial reports um, profit and loss, balance sheet, sales reports. You can customize the report, putting your name on it, and etc. And it can be very professional. You can, you know, add your company name and logo. This is for the bookkeepers. Or if you've got to present it to investors or whatever, and it can look very professional, professionally made. In with Zero, it's got a massive ecosystem, as do um, other softwares as well but zero particularly has a lot of apps over 700 at the time of recording probably a lot more now that can connect to it so stripe can connect to it hubdoc is actually now a partner so you get that by default for free with zero you might use expensify to record your expenses this paypal you've got receipt bank data molino shopify fathom released these are the apps that are on the marketplace they all connect with Zero. That said, um, QuickBooks has, has got a similar plethora of, of apps as well. Apps generally will work with Zero or with QuickBooks, but there's lots of things out there um, to investigate. You can add receipts with via HubDoc into Zero, push them in. That returns very easy um, to, to do on Zero. So 
clicking a couple of buttons and if you have to run payroll there's a payroll option there you could run it quite easily on zero and um it connects to nest and you, your figures get pushed through to nest it as well very easily now quickbooks online let's just have a look at an example of what that interface looks like so down the side you've got options like banking sales expenses employees if you if you're running the payroll you've got option for reports taxes if you've got um vat or um other taxes and, and accounting up here there's another button with further options and when you log in generally you get the, this dashboard which gives you at a glance your expense your, your invoices what's unpaid um total what's overdue what's not yet due expenses for the month for the last month you can change it to any time frame you like tells you how much you've spent and kind of what areas profit and loss at a glance for the last month just tells you what your income is what your expenses are and if you've got bank accounts they're listed here and you can connect your accounts credit cards normal uh, bank accounts to the software so overviews quite clean you get a dashboard quite at a glance you can you know see quite easily what's going on so as an example here when we click on banking we see that there's mastercards so that's your credit card at a glance your checking account and your savings account and again there's two totals here so one will be what the bank says the top one and then the bottom one will be what quickbooks says we are on top of our bookkeeping when the two match so you can see here there's seven transactions outstanding sort out those seven the two figures should match and the bookkeeping's done 25 transactions outstanding here one outstanding here and again very intelligent in terms of automating things or trying to guess it for you so you can see it's asking you do you want to match that you just click match and this one you know laura laura's something that's uncategorized you just choose a category and click add to add that into the the software so it pulls in from the bank feed and all your transactions are listed here if you were putting in an expense you can give it a category so for example we've got here london borough of islington we're using the we're paying it out of the account called the unity trust account give it a payment date we can give it a payment method if we wish direct debit cash whatever in the category we're putting it under general rates and it's a direct debit that's the amount within quickbooks if you go for the um higher version you can have here what's called classes and it means you can run reports by classes so if you are let's say a charity and you need to record income and expenses to a specific um project you can put that in there if you're let's say you've got a property company and you want to record income and expenses per um, property you choose your different classes there put your um, reference number in there which will be your bill number here there's an attachment you can click here or drag and drop and attach the receipt to the transaction so you can drag and drop the receipt to the transaction and just click save and close and, and that will save that transaction so very good with um, attaching um, receipts into the system you can also email in receipts you can set up rules within quickbooks as you can with zero as well so that the rule will apply and it will know what to do with it and you just can just click on the end there and makes reconciling the bank very easy you can see here when the bank balance matches quickbooks you get a green tick and it tells you how long ago this bank feed was updated so 19 hours and 13 hours it works in the background i think it's every 90 days you have to just refresh the bank feed but generally the the account software nowadays is pulling in the information from the bank so 
I would always, as a rule, just connect your banking, uh, your bank to your your accounts um, software. And you can put in reoccurring transactions as well, whether it's an expense or whether it's an invoice so that you don't have to keep remembering to do that. But it is the same amount each time. And QuickBooks also has um, uh, automatic reporting. That's something that Xero doesn't have. So uh, let's say you've got a management report, you've got to do it quarterly. It can automatically generate it um, and just give you just either send it to everyone on the list or you can have it sent to yourself so that it jogs your memory to make sure you send it on so automatic reporting can be very handy it's one of the it's just one less thing to have to remember now in terms of which is best that was a quick overview of the two systems now i know you're here to see well which is best and you know as part of the disclaimer as i say i use them all uh we resell um, both quickbooks and zero and my answer to the question when i'm asked this is that it depends let me tell you what it depends on for quickbooks online i think that charities uh larger organizations um, if you've got cost codes in particular that need um, more detailed reporting, just more functionality, then I would say QuickBooks, go for QuickBooks. But for Xero, I think it's nicer for the people who are in the creative industry, like architects, designers, um, smaller businesses, particularly those who like design though. So if if you're a creative, I'd say to you, yeah, go for zero because you're going to like the design aspect of it. You, it's very clean. Like I say, I um, I compare zero to being like Apple and QuickBooks to being more like Microsoft. So it, it's just my kind of how I vision. That's just my perception. But I mean, you've seen the internal screenshots of them both. I would say go to the one that you're drawn to. QuickBooks does have more functionality, in my opinion. I think, not even think, but it does have more reports. It gives you an automated reporting function. Personally, I prefer the layout of QuickBooks. Um, there's more to it, and I, I find it um, more flexible, easier to use. But that's just me. And I mean, I, I'm, I'm a bookkeeper accountant by background you might not want all of the bells and whistles and just want simplicity um very easy to customize the invoice templates i think zero's invoice templates and their quotes are very very nicely designed quickbooks you can you know fiddle with both of them you can fiddle about with the the settings but i do think um, zero has got a nice um invoice layout and I, like i say this is why if you're into design and all of that, then I, I think you, you'd enjoy zero a bit more. Now, to help you decide, back to a couple of um, pointers. Can your bookkeeper use it? Can your accountant use it? What do they like? What do they recommend? Some accountants are all in on QuickBooks, for example. Some are all in on zero. So go with what will make your life easier what you don't want because some accountants are very strict and what you don't want is to go for zero and then they're like oh i don't like that one we like quickbooks and then you know you've got a problem and they don't want to be your accountant anymore or whatever <laughs> try and get a free trial um and and use it and then just decide for yourself do you like it because at the end of the day it's your software it's your business you must like it and the way the software is um, designed now, it's for the layman or woman. So it is meant for the non-accountant user to get on well with it. Think about what you need it to do and just double check that at the, you're at the right subscription level to enable you to do it. You can read the reviews, but I mean, don't take them to heart too much. Remember that all are work in progress, constant um, improvements are coming out. Um, on all on all sides in terms of pricing very much similar but sometimes 
one may have like a little offer on but don't be tempted by the offer it might be cheap for the first four five six months but you know look at the overall cost and decide which one um, is the best price match for yourself any other questions do email me admin at booglesltd.com subscribe like and share the channel if you have enjoyed the videos and this has been brought to you by Google's bookkeepers.